photographers, Sandra Burns of September Blue Photography here. In this video, I'm going to talk you through how I pose newborns in chin pose, which looks like this, and how I transition them into what I call heads up pose, which looks like this. Now, the difference between heads up pose and froggy pose is that in froggy, the baby's feet are brought forward and placed behind the elbows. And the reason why I like heads up pose is that a lot of times it's a lot easier to transition into heads up from chin pose. So I like to use that in my workflow. And a lot of babies seem to tolerate it better than froggy. So you can really save a lot of time. Plus parents really love it just the same. And if it's going to disrupt your baby less and keep your baby more settled and give you more bang for your buck with a sleepy baby or with a sensitive baby, it's a good thing to have in your newborn posing arsenal. In this video, you're also going to see a couple of soothing techniques that I use to help transition babies in the pose. So I hope that you learn a thing or two. And if you have any questions, please leave a comment below. I'll be happy to answer it. I usually start chin pose by beginning to get the baby into the basic position while she's still in my arms. Once she's somewhat settled in my arms, I can place her down on the blanket. You can expect that the transition from your arms to the blanket might unsettle the baby a little bit. So as soon as I place the baby down, I like to cover her for a little bit of warmth and I begin padding right away to help smooth the transition. Once I see that she's starting to relax, I can begin to work on the pose. So I start by bringing her hands up under her chin. Now it's natural for the baby to have some movement while you're doing this. They will generally turn their head to one side or the other. And at this point, I don't worry about where she places her head. I follow her lead on the movement and I focus on getting her hands under her chin. In fact, the baby lifting and turning her head actually helps to get the hands into position. Here she initiated movement, so I took the cue and used that opportunity to work on getting her fingers to open. She clenches them back up, but they're a bit looser now and closer to being open how I want them. Sometimes babies will relax their fingers more easily if they feel very well supported from elbow to wrist. So I'm adding a pillow here underneath. It's important to support the baby's head when you're putting pillows underneath. Next, I start to work with positioning her face to get better light on it and to get her closer to the pose. She's still tense, as you can see by her clenched hands, but she lets me move her head without much protest. The next thing that happens is very common when a baby is not yet fully asleep. If they're still showing tension in their hands, they will likely protest when you try and open the fingers. So she turns her head and tucks her elbow, pulling back and out of position. Again, I take her cue that she wants to reposition or readjust herself, and I use it to get her hands and arms into a better position. She complains a little bit, but you can see with a quick pat, she relaxes and is now a lot more willing to let me open her fingers. And we already have much better positioning on those fingers. At this point, her hands are pretty good, but her face still needs more light. When turning the head, you really want to work with the jawbone and the temples, but not too much with the cheek like I'm doing here because that can trigger the rooting reflex. So now she's settled into the pose and we can remove the towel that was keeping her warm and try to get that diaper off. So I get the basic chin pose shot and then I add a headband. Now to add a little variety, I'm gonna take out the little foot in the back, but at this point I realized that she went to the bathroom and she needs to be cleaned up. I do tend to leave the diaper on as long as possible while the baby is not fully settled because if they're going to go, that's when they tend to go. So 
So we cleaned her up and she adjusted her position a little bit during cleanup, but we got her back into the pose. Now, I typically don't like the fingers coming out toward the camera the way they are here. I prefer them to be more parallel so that you're getting a side on view of the fingers. But uh, once I tried to tuck them in a little bit, she protested a little bit too much. So rather than lose the pose, uh, I just left them where they were, settled her back down, and we added a wrap to get a little bit more variety. From chin pose, I often like to transition right into heads up. The first step is to support the baby with your hands as you remove any pillows or stuffing that you have underneath that you were using for chin pose. Keeping my hands there helps make the transition not be so sudden for the baby. The last thing you want to do is yank out her support and startle her. The next step is to pick up the hand that she's not leaning on and place it on her cheek with an open palm. After that hand is up, I gently rock her weight onto that side so I can lift the other hand into position. This is the big, biggest movement of the entire pose, so it's the most disruptive, and it's okay, she's allowed to complain a little. This is where you might get stressed out and give up, but you'll see how quickly she settles back down. All it takes is a little pat, and my assistant does a little rub on her forehead, and she's settled back down. And you can do this without an assistant. You can reach over with your other hand and support her with one hand while you soothe her. Now, her head was a little too high, so I removed some stuffing to lower her positioning. And now I'm still trying to get that right hand to relax. So again, sometimes having better support from shoulder to elbow will help a baby relax those hands. So here I'm adjusting that support underneath. And in a really risky move, I scooch her forward a little bit just so she can get better support under those arms. But that movement lets her relax a little more and so she let me open up those fingers on the right hand. Now heads up pose is shot as a composite just like froggy. So you are going to need an assistant and I recommend that you get dad or grandma, but preferably not mom because she's got the milk, baby can smell the milk and that could unsettle the baby. Your assistant just needs to hold the baby with two hands and when you're ready, your assistant will lift one hand, you'll take that shot and then support the baby again and remove the other hand and then you'll take that shot. And of course, the two images get composited together in Photoshop to make the final heads up pose image. 